What's up, y'all? It is your girl Jada B. That's my mama. Back at it with another vlog. We are in Minneapolis for her birthday. And we just got here. We just landed. I would have vlogged before we got here, but yeah, it was just too chaotic. It's my dad. Why are you acting crazy? But yeah, um, if you are a new subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome to the channel. Um, right now we are just gonna do, um, you know, y'all seen that TikTok where the family says, who's gonna ruin the family vacation? And so, here we go. So, I think maybe Kayla might ruin the family vacation. My little sister. Cause she's always arguing with somebody. So, yeah, I think it's gonna be her. Okay. Oh, I'm a sister. And I think they're all gonna ruin it because they're a mess and I have to deal with them. So, all of them. Okay, bye. Hi everybody, here in Minnesota for the weekend, half week. <sighs> Jalen wants me to say, I think Gordon's gonna ruin the family vacation this weekend <laughs> because he always does. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, I'm on this trip to Minnesota with my wife and kids. Jalen will definitely ruin this trip. All right, so update y'all. I'm sorry I'm looking like mad crusty, but it has been a hectic day. They're hour behind us. We had to get up at like 4.30 this morning in Jacksonville, leave by 5, 5.30 to get to Orlando to catch our flight. The freaking line to Southwest was ridiculous, okay? Super ridiculous. So with that being said, our bags didn't make our flight because I guess we were, we checked it in late. We had literally just got to our gate in time before, like. We got to our gate when they were boarding. So our bags didn't make the flight. So now we have to go in here and um, she's gonna take our name and our number and whenever they arrive, she's just gonna call us and we have to come back here. But we don't have a car. We don't have a rental yet because the rentals this weekend was super expensive for some reason. And then today they didn't have any rentals available. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the shuttle back here to get our bags and I don't know what we're about to do now because check-in at the hotel is not until three o'clock. It's only 12 o'clock, so I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I really don't. <laughs> so yeah, just a little update. All right, so now we are outside. It feels kind of good out here. It feels a little breezy, but it feels like, I don't know. It, it feels like, it feels like Spring, summertime, Springfield out here. Like that fresh, breezy, I don't know. It feels good. But um, we are actually waiting on the shuttle. <laughs> waiting on the shuttle to get here. Should be coming soon. Yeah, we get to go to the airport, not the airport, but the hotel and check in. Our bags won't be here till about nine o'clock at night, so probably just gonna go get something to eat at the Mall of America. And um, I guess we'll just have to walk around looking like this, okay? I can take off my scarf. I'll do that when we get to the hotel, I'll take off my scarf. So I can look like something, you know? So, yeah. So we are at the Mall of America. Still ain't got no bags. We were able to check in early. Hotel is hectic. Everything has been so hectic. Um, but now we're at the mall. We're about to go find something to eat because we've been up since 4.30 without any food. Like we had little snacks on the, um, the airplane, but like we're starving and people have attitudes right now. So yeah.
<laughs> is this for a vlog? Yes, it is. Hi guys, welcome in. Well, this is a Wild America Wild Burgers. Come in, you can decide we have really good starters. We have sandwiches, with salads, and burgers. I mostly recommend our Juicy Lucy Burger. It is Minnesota famous. Come on down, we have like, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay you guys, we just ate at the Wahlburgers and I am freaking tired, I need a nap. This mall is just so overwhelming. It's so many people, too many stores, too many options. I just wanna go to sleep. But the food was good here. Um, we had our burgers, that's what it's called um, here. Our burgers, dad had a, um, a ringleader burger. It was good. Good. With the government cheese. Yeah, so their stuff has government cheese on it. Which is not true because government cheese does not melt. So that's true. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to just go walk around for another two hours. We do have a movie to go to. We're going to see the escape room since they have a movie theater here. And we don't have a car, we don't have anything else, and we're still waiting on our bag, so we gotta find something to do. So we're gonna go to the movies. So yeah. And go a little shopping. And do some shopping. I ain't got no window shopping. Look, I ain't got no no room in my bag. Window shopping. But yeah. You ain't got no bag. I ain't got no bag. No bag. Alright you guys, so we actually left the hotel. And I forgot you guys in the room, so I had to come back and get y'all because don't want to miss where we're going. But yeah, um, this morning we just had breakfast and we stayed in the hotel, just lounging and stuff, took showers and everything. But yeah, we are about to go see George Floyd Square. So I'm super excited about that. If you haven't been following the story, they did convict um, his killer so we're just gonna go and pay our respects super excited because I did follow the whole story I went to every court they I, I was in court okay me and my dad was in court so it, it's very um, very exciting and powerful to go see so yeah I had to come back and get y'all so y'all can see it too all right you guys so we actually made it out here um, we are on 38th Street. We are coming up on Chicago, but I wanted to get some of the scenery before we actually get to the Cup Foods. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I feel like crying a little bit. But here we go. <laughs>
little dirty red because his hair was all red. <laughs> and um, yep, this is Dante and then the, the guy over there, Jamal Clark. Mm -hmm. Like out of everything around here, that was one of the ones that kind of bothered me the most because when the uh, police pulled up, okay, so when the call was initially made, his girlfriend had fell down the stairs. They were barbecuing. And she tripped down a couple of stairs and broke her ankle. So they called the paramedics. He wanted to get in the paramedics. They called the police. They pulled off. He ended up dead on the ground. And the police said that he grabbed his gun, but he got a shot in the middle of his forehead. And the police claimed he had his back to him. Who shot him in the in his forehead? so tired we just left the mall i didn't bring y'all inside because we was just doing some shopping today and i got a little bag it's my m&ms i can't leave it in the car because it is dumb hot out here and yeah i went shopping you guys i'll do like a little um i'll do like a mall of america haul on what i got from the mall or whatever but now it's time to eat y'all it is time to eat because this morning i only had a little bit of food and that was it and then we had um some chips and stuff at the george floyd place so yeah now we're at tgif's about to eat y'all we about to eat i'm so drained i beat her i had to change into my crocs so yeah let's go eat all right you guys so we are actually back at the hotel we ate we also went to walmart real quick and i was gonna do a haul for you guys but i'll do it tomorrow so that way there's like no noise in the background i'll just go downstairs in the hotel and you know record something for you guys um but yeah we're just relaxing now i packed up my suitcase we're not leaving till tuesday today's sunday but i wanted to make sure i organized some of the stuff i got my clothes ready for tomorrow and now i'm about to change my purse and relax for the rest of the night because i believe it's okay it's it's nine o'clock so we're just gonna be relaxing for the rest of the night i'm about to wrap my hair and i'll see y'all tomorrow for some more activities good night did you charge it? No, but I got battery life. Oh, how much? Are you gonna run out in the mall halfway through our dinner time? No. Yeah. Some battery packs in there. Huh? You wearing that? Yes, I'm wearing this. No jacket or anything? My jacket right there. All right, y'all, good morning. It is the next day, and we about to go eat. It's actually 12.44. We about to go eat breakfast, okay? We're going to IHOP. It's brunch, <laughs> but we gonna eat breakfast. Breakfast. So I did Here. the top half of my Here. face because I'm gonna be wearing a mask and I ain't got time for my, my makeup to be on my mask. You feel me? But anyway, so y'all ready? Paisley Park, which is Prince's studio and home. Um, we can't get inside because there's no tickets available. We waited to the last minute to get tickets. So um, the only thing we can do is go into the gift shop, which is probably not gonna be much of anything. But um, I'll just show y'all what it looks like. So yeah, it's not much to see, but it's all we can see, really.
right, so we just left a furniture store. I didn't bring y'all in there because we were like in and out, in and out. But we kind of just left Prince's house. And this lady who's renting out the spot for her job's like party or whatever, she was telling us some good areas to go in Minnesota or Minneapolis. So she told us about this Guther, Guther I think it's called Guther Theater. It's a theater, but she said, you're not going there for the theater, you're going there for the 11th floor, it's called the Yellow Room. And she said, I'm not gonna tell you why it's called that. You just have to go and and see what it is. Oh wait, I do see some yellow windows up there. I'm gonna show y'all. And the lady said it's free, so um, we're gonna go here and it's actually 514. We have reservations for my mom's birthday for dinner at seven o'clock, but I think we're kind of far from it. So yeah, hopefully we can make it in time because it's five o'clock and we were just sitting in traffic. So hopefully we can get there in time. We were supposed to go back to the hotel and change, but I don't know if we'll be able to. So this guy, I thought it was Disney or somebody. He looked like somebody I know, but his name is Tyrone Guther. Guthrie. Oh, there's more people. That's a black guy here. August Wilson. Oh, look at this lady, Lorianne Hansberry. Oh, she's the writer. Yeah, brings it in the sun. Oh yeah, I do know her. Anyway, this place, um, the theater is actually closed today, so. Oh, cool, look, you guys. Um, yeah, this place is closed today. So yeah, this guy told us about this bridge that we're about to go to. It's pretty cool out here. We're the only coloreds over here. It's kind of weird. So. <laughs> but they're all friendly. Everybody's friendly. to do like an escape game this morning but they were sold out again like as soon as they opened or whatever we're not doing anything they decided to come down here and get something to eat i already had leftovers from last night um so i'm just gonna eat that because i don't want none of their breakfast food like their breakfast food here at the hotel was nasty like it was fake food um, but I do need to go to Burlington to um, get me like a, a jacket or a sweater or something because the sweater that I brought, it's dirty and I don't want to wear that on the plane. Like, oh, I'm so mad. 
And then I do have this, but it doesn't match. Yeah, we're gonna stop by Burlington real quick. Or I think they wanted to go to that mini ha ha falls, which is like a waterfall, I guess. I don't know, park or something, I don't know. But yeah, today is our last day and it is, what time is it? It's 8.36 in the morning. It's actually pretty hot out here. <laughs> And I came out here because it's freezing in the room and yeah, I'm not trying to be cold. I'll let you know what we do next. All right, you guys, so we're at Minnehaha Falls. Um, it's not much to see, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know, people be hyping this place up, but I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'm guessing that's the waterfall that they wanted us to see. I don't see anything else, it's just a big park. Literally, just a big park. But they do have these bikes where you can like have two people riding on it. Cool. Beep, beep. Oh, and then they got these. Thirty-eight bucks for an hour. Oh wow. Feels good out here though. I'm gonna come over here to this, see if I can find some other waterfall. I really don't see anything. Yep, that's the waterfall. It may not be good. Okay guys, this is the angle. This is a nice, nice little angle of the waterfall. I don't know. Some people are just into looking at that kind of stuff. Me personally, I don't really care. Now if it was like Niagara Falls, then we looking at something. But this, it, it doesn't really excite me. But whatever. All right, you guys, so we are in the airport. We cannot take off our mask because, you know, COVID's still around. But um, hopefully you guys can hear us. We're just gonna talk a little bit louder than usual. But we are in the airport. We have about two hours till we catch our flight. So yeah, this is it. This is it. So um, I'm gonna hand the camera to my mom. Hi everybody. I'm Jalen's mom and she wants me to tell who I feel spoiled the, tr the trip vacation. As always, it's always Gordon. He's always gotta have things his way and when he don't, he has a tantrum. And yes, he had one. And the best part of the trip that I felt was when we went to the Prince Museum. Um, Mall of America was nice as well. And we also got to see some other great um, sights and adventures that we weren't expecting, um, which I'm sure she has them in her vlog. And you'll see them as well. But anyways, we are on our way back and thank you for watching. Okay, I'm up next you guys. So I think, I think my dad ruined the trip because he gets these tamper tantrums and he just be doing the most. Like, oh my God. Um, when we went to Prince, I don't know if y'all could tell if my mood was down, but when, he was, when we went to Prince, like, he was acting a fool. And then, um, there was a couple other times he was just acting crazy. So yeah, um, the trip ruined the trip and my dad kind of ruined the trip. But the best part of the trip for me was, um, going to see George Floyd's memorial. I think that was the best part for me. It's more personal. Uh, Prince, we didn't get to go to the tour, so it wasn't like we can really do anything. So the most thing that I got out of the trip was George Floyd. So yeah, I'm going to pass the camera to my sister. Okay, so who ruined the trip? The trip itself ruined the trip and everyone else. And the best part is that I got to go shopping. That's all, okay, bye. I guess I'm passing it to dad next. So we'll see what he says. I like the George Floyd Memorial and Jalen ruined the trip as always. All right, you guys, so um, I'm gonna end the vlog off here. We had a really great time for the most part. So I will see y'all in the next vlog. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share the video, and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, bye.